These days, there is a lot of hype around Chat GPT. But do you know that Microsoft Excel itself has some really useful artificial intelligence features built into it? In this video, let me share five of my most favorite AI features in Excel. Let's go. The first thing is pattern recognition. Here I have got some names and email addresses of not so famous pop stars. And I would like to extract the domain name here, but I don't know the formula. What I really want is anything that appears after the at the rate symbol. Here is how the pattern recognition works. You type some values and Excel will figure out what to do for the rest of the cells. So multiply.com, mappy, and you can see that as I type the first two, three letters, Excel has already done a pretty good job. When you are ready, you just hit enter and all of these values get automatically extracted for you. This feature is called flash fill. You can also trigger this by pressing control E. Let's see this in a more advanced scenario. Further down here, I have got some details and I just want to extract the amount. Now the problem is the amount can be anything in the end, just the number, but the separator is sometimes it is colon, sometimes it is hyphen, sometimes it just follows. And I just want to extract the amount. So I'm typing 500, 120 and 300. And after typing few values, I'm going to press control E and Excel will extract the values again for me. Pretty good job, really. So this particular artificial intelligence feature of Excel is called flash fill and you can access this with either control E or if you go to the data ribbon, you'll see that there is a flash fill option right here. While the flash fill does a pretty good job of extracting the data for you, it doesn't tell you what formula it has used to extract the data. So now let's use Excel to generate the actual formula logic. So here I have a file with 1000 names and what I want is I want to generate an email address for these names. The email address would be first letter and then the last name at the rate awesome dot chalk. But I don't really know what formula to use or how to generate that email address. And the bigger problem is this file keeps changing. So today we have 1000 people. Next week I might receive another 500 IDs and I need to generate their email addresses. So let's let Excel write all of this for us. We'll go to the data ribbon, say get data from file from text file and point to the file, say import. It's going to show you a preview of the data and then say, is this what you want? Yes, but we do need to transform this data to generate the email address. So I'm going to go to the transform data option. And this takes us to a special feature of Excel called Power Query. Power Query is a very advanced feature built right into Excel so that you can do a lot of data related stuff quite easily. So let's understand how we can use Power Query to generate that email address with a formula. The first thing that I'm going to do is make sure that the name is actually used as the heading of this table. So for this from the home ribbon, I'm going to click on use first row as headers. Next up, I want to add a column that corresponds to the email address. So I'll say add column and I don't know what logic to use. So I'm going to use the column from example option. And here in this new column, we can write the example of what we want and Power Query will generate the relevant formula. So here this will be b chupin at awesome.chalk. P and after you type a couple of values, the rest of the names have automatically been generated by Power Query. You can see that they all look correct and that is perfect. 
And when you click OK, it not only adds this, but when you go and edit this, you will see that it has generated a formula to actually write that email address for you. So this is an artificial intelligence feature built right into Power Query. And once you are done with all of this, you can say home, close and load, and it's gonna load that data with all these email addresses. You might think, ooh, this looks good, but what if my data changes? So let's test this out. I'm gonna go to the very first here, and let's write my name, Chandu, and save this file, close it out, and right click here, refresh, and you will get my name and the corresponding email address automatically generated for me. How awesome is this? The third artificial intelligence feature built right into Excel is AI analysis of data. Here I have got a sample of our awesome chocolates sales data. There's quite a bit of data and my boss wants me to quickly analyze it and tell me what's going on. But I don't have the time to do the analysis. No worries, just select the any cell in this data and from home ribbon, click on analyze data button. This button looks fairly harmless, but when you tap on this, it's actually gonna look at your data and do the analysis for you. So for example, here it has done all of this analysis and produced some pretty cool and interesting graphs. So for example, here, it has done an analysis of expenses by salesperson and product and provided me with a matrix format. If I think this is valuable, I can insert a pivot table and I'll get all the corresponding numbers straight away generated for me without me doing any work. Let's go back and see what else it has done. It has produced a graph here and then shows that box has six outliers. This looks really interesting. I'm going to insert that and then take a look at this. So this is how many boxes we have been shipping over a period of time. And you can see that these data points here all the way at the end of the graph, there's some extreme values there. Of course, this is kind of known in our business simply because we have had a massive surge in demand around December 2022. And hence we had quite a few highs and lows and naturally the demand for chocolates kind of peters down after Christmas. So we have less boxes going out after Christmas. Not only it analyzes the data, but you can also ask questions. So this is like really like chat GPT, but you can talk to your data. You can ask what you want from Excel and it will do the analysis. So I'm going to ask a question like, what is the total sales in December 2022. And here I'll get a number which corresponds to December 2022. I'm gonna make a note of this number 3,070,000 and let's just double check this. So let's put filters here and expand and select just the December portion. So this is only December data points and I'm gonna select the sales thing and make a note of this number. So 3,070,228, that's exactly the number that Excel has come up with. Not only that, but you can ask more specific questions too. For, and then let's just say after nines. So that is a very specific product after nines within the month of December 2022 and then that total has come up. So you can ask many questions like this, literally talk to your data, like how many different products are there, 22, because it, it is doing a distinct count on the product or how many different products are there in last week of December 2022, 21. So it tells you within the date period 26th of Jan 2022 to 1st of Jan 2023, we have sold only 21 different products. Even though we have total of 22 products, uh, one of them did not sell at all in that last week. So that is the number three. I hope you like this feature. And that reminds me, if you are enjoying this video, give it a like. It really helps me. 
let's go to the fourth one not only you can ask excel to do the analysis but you can also ask excel to recommend you what to do when you are not sure so for example here i have got some data for some of our products in the last three months and i'm not really sure what chart would represent this data better so i'll select this data and then go to insert ribbon and click on the recommended chart option this is going to look at your data and recommend you some chart options based on what is available in Excel. While the recommendations are not always perfect, they do work pretty well and give you the chart right out of the box. So for example, this one looks interesting. I'm going to just click and insert that straight away. It does tell me for each product how we did in the last three months in a kind of say, for example, here I can see peanut butter cubes had a growing thing whereas white chocolate went up and went down likewise if we have got more data for example here i have got my awesome apps data how many downloads how many uninstalls five star ratings one star ratings and total ratings and out of all of this data i'm not really sure what to analyze this how to represent this in a pivot format so again i can go to insert and click on recommended pivot table option the normal option would be to use pivot table and figure it out yourself but if you are not sure you can use the recommended pivot table option tap on this and it's going to generate some pivot table formats for you so for example um, it's going to show you five star ratings by month and app and how many five stars ratings we're getting for each of our apps uh, or five star ratings and downloads by app like that once I like a particular pivot table, I can just click on the new sheet button and such a pivot table will be generated for me and neatly presented. This is also a good thing for beginners who are not sure how to set up a pivot table. They can use this feature to generate the pivot table, study it and learn more about it. So those are the two kinds of things that Excel can recommend for you, pivot tables and charts. Before we jump into our top five option, I would like to share a bonus trick with you. For this, we need to go to OneDrive. Let's create a new Excel workbook here. And I'm going to paste some data into this workbook. This particular feature is called automatic formulas. For this to work, currently you need to use Excel online on OneDrive for either personal or family accounts. Eventually, this feature is going to be available on the desktop as well as business accounts too. Once you have some data, make it a table. So select all of this and use the format as table button here or insert table button here. This is going to turn your data into a tabular format. Now let's see what formula we can write to combine the first name and last name into full name. Again, we'll assume that we have no idea about what formulas we can use. So here, if you type some data, Excel is going to recommend that this is the pattern and here is a formula that you can use. And if you tap on show formula, it's going to show you the formula that you could use to generate this data automatically. When you are ready, just hit the apply button and you will get all the names automatically calculated to you through formula. Let's write one more formula. This time we want to generate an ID number for these people. So we'll say ID number and then say ID 001, ID 002, ID 003. At this point, Excel has figured out the pattern and it has recommended that this is the formula. If you see the formula, it is using ID 00 ampersand text of row minus three in the zero format. Now, this is not a perfect formula. I'll apply and then you can see where the problem is. It's actually adding an extra zero here. What we wanted is really three digit formatting, but it has done a decent job. It has given you what you want. And you could probably take this and improvise this by adding some additional conditions here or do something else. This particular feature is called formula by example and it is evolving constantly. 
Let's hope this will be added to desktop Excel as well. Now let's talk about the fifth example of Excel's AI features and this is by far my favorite as well. So here I have got some app downloads for our chocolate crossing app. It's a small game and uh, here is the download information for the first six weeks of 2023. Given this information, my boss is asking me, hey, can you forecast what would be the total downloads going forward in, in the next three weeks? So one way to do this is you can select all of this data, insert a line chart, or if you're not sure, you know, use the recommended chart and it will, it will recommend a line chart anyway. And once you have added this, you can use the plus button and add a trend line. Now we can see that on a weekly basis, we have this kind of a sawtooth pattern in our downloads. People download the games more towards the weekend and during the weekdays, like Tuesdays and Wednesdays, fewer downloads are happening. But in general, we have been trending upwards. So given this, what would be the future look like? That's the thing. If I have the trend line, I can select the trend line, right click and format it. And then I can say, can you forecast it for next 21 days? So, and then hit enter, it's going to forecast. But this forecast will only indicate a linear trend. It says this line will continue like this. This is not good for me. I would like to see what that sawtooth pattern itself will look like. So this is where one of the coolest features of Excel is really helpful. Just select the data, go to data ribbon and click on forecast sheet option. This is going to study your data, figure out that you have got a sawtooth pattern going on and try to repeat that pattern while keeping that upward trend continuous and then it will generate this kind of a graph. It will give you boundaries also based on uh, statistical significance. So it kind of gives you those. You can see the options here uh, and then see that, for example, those lines correspond to 95% confidence interval. And it has done a pretty good job of detecting our seasonality, which is a week or seven days. Once you're happy with all of this, you can set how far into future you want to forecast. So it's forecasting for the next two weeks. If I want it for three more weeks, uh, I'll pick that date and then say create. It's going to create a sheet with all the graph. And here is the best part. It's going to write the actual forecasting formulas also. So if your data changes, you just have to update these values and it will figure out what the forecast would be as per that. Using these five techniques, we can get a lot out of Excel without even doing any work. We just tell Excel what we want and Excel does the work for us. But if you take it one step further and understand the actual language that Excel speaks, the formula language, then you can get even more out of your data. Here is a video in which I introduce the 10 most important functions in Excel. Check it out and learn the important functions for data analysis. I'll catch you there. Bye-bye.